Hey friends, it's Jasmine. I hope that you all are doing well. I'm coming back at you live with another DIY, okay? So for today, we're gonna be making Miss Fortune powder. Yes, Miss Fortune powder. So this is a powder that you can actually use to cause misfortune for a person, place, or business. Um, now, recently, there has been someone on my radar who I have been doing some work, okay? I've already put them in a sour jar. If you don't know what a sour jar is, you can look at the video on my channel, How to Sour Jar. Today, I'm going to be showing you How to Misfortune Powder. This is a powder, okay? So you need to... Um, actually take this powder and sprinkle it across their business or their home or their vehicle um, or in their footsteps. This is going to be a little bit of Sakhir, Arabian conjure style magic for you today. And this is also just how I do it. This isn't the only way to do it. So for the sake of this video, if you would like to cause a business to fail, or misfortunes to be in Tao, or for someone to have a hard go of things, to cause poverty, to cause struggle. You know, if you wanna give someone the struggle, if you will, this is a way to do so. Now, I'm gonna show you first some of the ingredients and tools that are recommended to make this powder. First, of course, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of cauldron. In order to make misfortune power, you need to um, actually burn some things. So if you don't have a cast iron cauldron like this, which you can actually get one of these, um, I believe I got this one specifically. It's kind of like, it's a pretty good size cauldron, um, roughly palm sized. I got this one from Amazon for like only like 20 bucks. So great deal. Um, but you don't have to use a cauldron. You can use any fire safe container, um, but definitely make sure that you have a fire safe container because part of misfortune powder requires you to use the ashes of what you burn. Of course, always, you're gonna want some salt. Um, in my previous video, I had talked about how for most things that you're going to do in the craft, you really only need salt, sugar, and pepper. You can do pretty much everything with those three ingredients alone because the power, right, really comes from right here. The power of the witch, the witch's intention comes from right here. So you are your own main ingredient. But um, yes, salt, sugar, pepper, you can do a whole hell of a lot. Besides your salt and your cauldron, what I'm also going to recommend is some licorice root. Licorice root is a very commanding herb. Licorice root is very much used in bending the free will of others and also controlling and dominating. Um, it can also be used in some seduction as well, though we're not using it for that purpose in this particular spell. But get some licorice root. Now, because this specific misfortune powder is going to be used to bring the misfortune and the downfall of a business, what I am using now is some Jericho some Jericho. And I have a video about this on my channel as well. Jericho is the plant of resurrection. So it brings things back to life from death. Um, it's often used in either love or prosperity workings. So I have a little bit of Jericho plant here that I have put into this little shot glass because I'm going to be using this um, in this spell as well. Now, besides the salt, um, and ash from the cauldron. Another key ingredient here, okay, key ingredient. If you don't use the licorice root or the Jericho rose, make sure that you have some sort of wasp or beehive, okay? So we're gonna be putting some of this into our misfortune powder because we essentially want our target to be stung, to be attacked, to be distracted. And so that way their business can fail, their livelihood can fail. And um, yeah, they will have some hard times. So get some wasp hive or some beehive. 
Now I would recommend that you procure this naturally um, and you only want to use wasp or beehive that has been uh, abandoned. Um, if it's a hive that has been sprayed with chemicals, um, you don't really want to burn that because you don't really want to inhale those chemicals, uh, theoretically. So I would recommend if you come across a wasp hive or a beehive out in nature and it is abandoned, I would go ahead and, and take that because you can actually use this in some misfortune powder. And this is a very potent ingredient. And if you don't, like I said, if you don't use the licorice root or if you don't use the Jericho. Definitely use this beehive here. This specifically is a wasp hive, and we all know the energy that wasps have. The aggression, right? The planet Mars, the warrior, the fighter, the stinger. We want to channel some of that into our working. Also going to want to have some form of container. Um, so I'm just going to be using this container here, which is an astrological container. And I already have some Mediterranean salt in here um, as a base. So we are going to be adding our ashen ingredients into this. And this is what's going to become our misfortune powder. Let me show you. Now, like I did say, this is going to be some sapphire for you, okay? Some Arabian conjure style magics. Now, before I'm going to start this, I'm going to light up my bakor, which is what this is, and I am going to burn some oud specifically for my gin, okay? And you, if you work with gin, you can use gin in this working if you would like to. It's not mandatory. This is just what I'm doing working candle here. Um, working candles are used to work with. So definitely make sure that you have some form of candle. I use this working candle specifically for Maldictas. Going to be using some of my black magic oud, this Nabil, here. And this will start to create a very strong and potent smoke, okay? And while this is burning and while this is smoking, you want to inhale some of the smoke and you want to invoke the Shayatin. You want to invoke the Jinn to help you in this working and to ask for their blessing. You can take a moment here as you are burning this to recite your prayers and intentions over this working. Marhaba, Jinni, bring misfortune to my enemy. Mahabra, Jinni, bring misfortune to my enemy. Bring my enemies to their knees and make their pockets weak. May they falter, may they fall, may their businesses fail. Speak your intention over the Bakor. Maharba Jenni. I invoke you into this working. Make my enemies falter. Bring them to their knees. Hit them where it hurts. Take their prosperity and their health, their money and fortune from them. Strip this from them. Make their business fail. Give them no clients. Give them no insurance. Give them no security. Rob them of their building. Make their co-workers despise them. Make them so uncomfortable, they have no other choice than to close up shop. If they reopen someplace else, may they be witnessed by the same energy. May the same energy of misfortune, Maharpa, Jinni, follow them wherever they go. Watch these enemies, make them weak and bring them to their knees. May they never know anything other 
than poverty and strife, sickness and disease. So once you have kind of like started this here in the bakor, you're going to add this to your cauldron. And I would recommend using the same coal and adding it into your cauldron. So now that you have that going, you can kind of like put your bakor up. And we're gonna add some licorice here, licorice to command. And you wanna speak your intention over the herbs as you add it. Licorice, herb of control, herb of commanding. Hearken to my call. May my will be manifested in these herbs to control my enemy to bend their mind to my will, to make them believe that they are a failure and nothing, that no one wants their business and that they must close shop now, that they must close shop now. Licorice, the commanding herb and the controlling herb, I speak power over you now. going to add the wasp hive here and speak your intention over the wasp hive as well. Hive of wasp, I command you now to sting my enemies, hit them where it hurts, bring them nothing but misfortune, make them paranoid, make them terrified, make them afraid. Sting and bite my enemies wasp hive add your powers to my misfortune powder i want the stingers of a thousand hives to fall upon my enemies to hurt them and cause them bodily injury to maim them to disgrace them to scar them and to keep them forever shrouded in shame from the burns and the stings they have witnessed. Give them no mercy, give them no peace. So going to add this Jericho Rose. So a couple, just a couple sprigs of Jericho. Now normally we would use this for good fortune, but any herb, any crystal, anything that you use for positive or benevolent intentions, you can twist and putrefy to use for negative intentions or for maldictas. You can use anything that is used for, um, you know, positive for negative. So this Jericho Rose is ordinarily used to bring good business, but we are going to burn that business and we are going to take this person's cash flow directly from them so that they may suffer endlessly from poverty. I have a little bullet here and I'm going to be adding this bullet to serve as a totem in my misfortune powder because which is like me, I don't only seek to strip you of your prosperity. I don't only seek to take away your success, but I want it to be the death of you. You will no longer harm myself or my friends or those affiliated with the coven. Let this bullet be a totem, a fetish and an effigy of violence and let this bullet be the metaphorical bullet through your head to strip you of any and all prosperity. And every time you set up shop again, this bullet will remain to be a threat. Now I would definitely recommend doing a sour jar first and then following up that sour jar with some misfortune powder. So the powder is cooking now and we're going to let that become nothing more than ash. 
nothing more than ash, much like our enemies, prosperity and success will become nothing more than ash and ruin. So allow that to kind of cook, okay? Allow it to steep, allow it to brew. Now, what I wanna tell you is the powder that we are making, you do need to sprinkle, okay? Now, yes, you can do this work astrally and you could dress a candle with this, but I would personally would recommend sprinkling it over their business. If it's an online business, print that off, okay? Print off their online business, sprinkle it over that printed off page and then burn it. But if it's a brick and mortar business, which in my case, the business I am seeking to do this work on is a brick and mortar business. So I will be personally sprinkling this across their doorway if I even have to, because granted, the sour jar has already taken effect. So I may not even have to sprinkle the sour jar, okay? But in case I do, I have it. And in case of next time, I also have it. So yes, that is how you would work that misfortune powder. Put it over the business, put it in their foot tracks, put it over their car, put it over their home, dress a candle with it, okay? The possibilities are endless. Once you have all of your ingredients put together here, okay? You've cooked this quite nicely. You're going to add this to your container. And I still have that charcoal here and it's still relatively warm. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this Nabil Black Magic Oud for my gin over this to thank them as an offering. You can kind of like take that bullet that you have there and just kind of like stir this up. Last thing that I would recommend as a personal item, I personally would recommend using saliva because you want to spit on your enemies. And this misfortune powder, you want to spit on your enemy's legacy, on their prosperity. And then you can bottle up your misfortune powder, give it a good shake. And then whenever you need, you can take the top off, sprinkle a little bit in your hand and let it do the work while you say your prayers and sprinkle that powder. A prayer that I would recommend saying when you are sprinkling this powder is bind my enemies, make them weak with curses, woe and bleak. Bind my enemies and make them weak with curses, woe and bleak. Bind my enemies and make them weak with curses, woe and bleak. Hope that you all have enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in some behind the scenes footage, Check out the links down below and subscribe to the Patreon. If you would like to see more witchcraft DIYs, please let me know. And if you want to see more maldictas and malevolent magic, let me know what you would like to see. Tell me what is troubling you and maybe in a future video I can make a maldicta video DIY just for you. And until next time, blessed be and I'll see you in hell.